The shipping industry is vital for the prosperity of people all around the world, as it transports approximately 90% of global trade. Dry bulk carriers account for 43% of the world fleet and carry out approximately 55% of the global transport work, while their average age is half of that of the global commercial fleet. They are the workhorses of international shipping, as they serve essential needs such as food and energy supply. Dry bulk shipping is necessary for maintaining and enhancing living standards in both developed and less developed economies. Cereals, grain, agricultural and forest products, fertilizers, iron and other mineral ores, as well as coal, are among the necessary goods transported by bulk carriers, which are needed for the welfare of societies. Bulk carriers transport almost 700 kilograms of goods a year for each person on the planet. As of mid-2020, the bulk carrier fleet consisted of almost 12,000 ships sized over 10,000 deadweight reaching a total of over 870 million deadweight tons, which has almost tripled in the last 20 years. The largest bulk carriers are over 400,000 deadweight tons in size. Economies of scale have increased the size of bulk carriers in recent times. Indicatively, the standard Panamax bulker has increased by 30% to 80,000 deadweight tons in less than three decades. At the same time, the volume of the annual world seaborne dry bulk trade has doubled. Dry bulk shipping contributes substantially towards meeting the UN Sustainable Development Goals of and well-being, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth, industry, innovation and infrastructure, climate action. Even though international maritime transport carries approximately 90% of global trade, it is responsible for approximately 2% of the world's anthropogenic CO2 emissions. The shipping industry has already made significant progress in emissions reduction in the last 10 years by reducing emissions by 10% while enabling a 30% increase in global trade. According to industry estimations, shipping's greenhouse gas emissions per transport work have decreased by 25% since 2008. Our sector is arguably the most efficient cargo carriage mode on Earth, while dry bulk sea trade ensures relatively cheap, safe and reliable transportation. Dry bulk shipping is achieving environmental and operational excellence by continuing to improve energy efficiency and complying with the IMO's Energy Efficiency Design Index. It is also increasing operational efficiency by burning less polluting fuels and using ballast water cleaning systems to prevent waterways contamination. Environmental excellence requires collaboration. Fuel suppliers, fuel distributors, charterers, shipyards and engine suppliers must work together with the shipowning community to find the most appropriate solutions for the industry. International regulations should focus and extend responsibilities to all stakeholders in order to achieve equitable environmental and greenhouse gas reduction goals as set by the IMO. After all, without a prosperous and efficient dry bulk cargo sector, economies will falter and populations will face grave shortages. Seafarers are the true heart of global shipping and they are key workers offering absolutely essential services as demonstrated especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. The dry bulk industry provides continuous and well-paid jobs to hundreds of thousands of talented and committed employees, providing a significant income to households in areas with high rates of unemployment. Bulk carriers employ over 350,000 seafarers annually. Our seafarers play a vital role in ensuring the flow of essential goods under challenging weather and working conditions. The International Association of Dry Cargo Ship Owners has been representing the interests of quality dry bulk ship owners since 1980. At the beginning of 2020, Intercargo represented 2,400 registered ships. Our association is committed to a safe, efficient, high-quality and environmentally friendly dry bulk shipping industry.